It's like a joy bomb of a movie. It's really, it's, it's that allure of travel and to exotic places, the need for escapism that we've all been needing. We've been needing to mainline that back into our veins. And I think this film is like, it just kidnaps you. It takes you somewhere else. And I, it has all of Disney's joy and all of Disney's uplift and everything that they stand for. You should believe in curses too. It's not a fun vacation. Well, I'm not here for a vacation. What, you're gonna beg me to turn back? Allow me to manage my own safety. It's a departure uh, from what I had been playing for uh, some time where my physicality in this particular role uh, is is not leading, and I wanted to cover up. <clears throat> we made a very concerted, conscious effort to do that, and Emily was right there really the whole time of really trying to find a way that I can... Uh, disappear. Disappear, yeah, essentially in this, and, uh, and be a shyster and be a con man and be someone who's untrustworthy. But he um, is so charming and likable. That's the thing. Hopefully, be a so little bit charming. So that imperfectly yes. perfect thing is like what it's certainly what I look for with every role I play because it's really what it is to be a human being. No one's just one thing. They have this amazing kind of spiky repartee throughout the movie, uh, but you're really invested in their kind of journey, and I feel like you know they're funny, they're flawed, as you mentioned. They're kind of imperfect action heroes as well. That's what I love about them. Whenever you see the big kind of set pieces and the fight scenes, uh, you know, Emily in particular is so funny because, you know, she's always doing it slightly tongue in cheek. It is a very challenging uh, combination to reach in equal proportions and they were and they were completely able to do it. And, and, and I had a great time watching them. So I have no doubt that the entire world is going to fall is going to fall in love with this couple.